Hi, my name is Jason Lopez with RC Mowers. Today we're going to be showing you how to install a new track. You'll start by jacking the machine up in the rear point and the front. After the machine is jacked in the air, you then grab the front carriage and slide it all the way to the rear. Make sure you're about five inches off the ground to the bottom of the rear carriage, and about five inches from the bottom to the carriage. You're now going to want to take the track and bring it to the front of the machine. Bring the rear of the track over. You want to line up the teeth on the track and the front idle. And the track will be at an angle. So right now it's lined up, but the track is going at an angle, and the teeth are in the idler, but they are not in the front upper putter. You'll take the rear of the track, you'll lift and set it onto the sprocket. Now note the teeth will not go into the sprocket just yet. So with it like so, You'll then take the middle of the track and put it onto the putter. You'll now lift the track so that the teeth slide over the putter. Once it's over the putter, you then do the same to the sprocket. So now, the sprocket, the front putter, and the idler are all lined up in the grooves. You'll want to jack the machine up just high enough that the lower teeth of the track are lower than our lower track end. Now, you'll take your rubber mallet and you'll hit the back of the track to get the teeth onto the idler. If you are having troubles, you may need to raise or lower the machine to assist in getting it off. Once the track is on, Ensure the teeth of the lower track are in, lined up with the lower track guide in the middle. With the track on the sprocket, front idler, upper butter, and the lower track guide, you then will lower the machine to the ground. Then we'll come to the rear of the machine. Rotate it up, you'll skip one sprocket tooth. You then come to the front, you grab the front carriage, be careful not to pinch your fingers, and you slide it forward. And if it is stuck, a rubber mallet can be used to free it. Take your new or existing gray spring, slide it into the pocket. Your retainer has a small hole in it to fit over the tensioning bolt. Slide that over, you'll thread it until it makes contact. Back this, jam that up a little bit so you have room. Spray a little bit of lubrication and then spray the threads just a little bit. Then take a piece of carpet or cloth to protect your paint. A impact of inch and an eighth socket. You want to tension until your gray spring on the front of the retainer and the front of the Spring pocket is two and three eighths of an inch. And then measure.
So that two and three eighths. And then remove your tools and your carpet. And slide your jam nut all the way back. And using two inch and eighth wrenches, run, hold this one tight. Tighten your jam nut. Now your track is installed.